And as Matt and Mark have uh, already uh, discussed, one of the reasons why we're able to move forward is that there's a tremendous atmosphere of collaboration. Uh, one of the first things I did when I came over uh, to be a commissioner is to pick up the phone and uh, call both Matt and Mark and simply told them that uh, uh, the governor charged me with creating affordable housing units uh, and being that the city of New York is in the state, I'll be counting every apartment that you guys create. Uh, and uh, uh, told them at the same time that we also look to be engaged in the city of New York um, and that they also should add uh, the work that we're doing to their roles. Uh, so it took out any type of competitiveness and uh, really created an atmosphere for collaboration and moving together. Um, we're in a very challenging time where there's a lot uh, that we're doing that we can celebrate, but there's still a number of challenges. One of the things that Governor Cuomo has done uh, in order to uh, try to alleviate that is to be more creative, uh, strategic, and innovative in his approaches. Uh, one of the things that he's done is taken away the old modality of just a direction coming from the top. Uh, through the, uh, uh, through the uh, regional councils, uh, regional economic development councils, he's created an opportunity for the top as well as the bottom to develop synergy, uh, so that way we can develop better efficiencies. Uh, taking those protocols from the governor, uh, Marion Zucker, our president of finance and development, has also taken that by creating multi-family task forces and other task forces in order to talk to our partners, to understand what your challenges are so that we can create programs that make it more enticing and easier for you, as opposed to uh, creating more obstacles. Uh, we want to make sure uh, that the policies that we develop uh, spur activity and not uh, discourage them. And with that, we've had a number of successes uh, in creating uh, opportunities through the uh, Medicaid redesign team. Uh, it's created a multi-state, uh, multi-agency effort uh, that includes HCR, the Department of Health, uh, OPWDD, OMH, and others uh, to all come together in order to collaborate uh, as opposed to having uh, capital resources uh, in different places. It takes time for you to run and gather all of them to have them centrally located in one conversation. Uh, in the past two fiscal years alone, $150 million has been appropriated through the MRT for supportive housing and agencies are leveraging additional public and private investments. Uh, HCR's Housing Trust Fund Corporation has received over $32 million in MRT funds, all of which are fully committed to projects, creating more than 400 supportive housing units. We expect to close on these over the next several months. Uh, we're also working with Shady members like Communal Life, Lantern, Concern, uh, Services for the Underserved, just to name a few, uh, partnering with them uh, to utilize MRT funding uh, for homes and services uh, people need to live uh, more independent and productive lives. And this year, HCR received uh, 23.2 uh, million dollars of capital. And I'm pleased to announce uh, that our RFP for these funds is now available and will be posted on our websites and accessible today. Uh, on top of 400 units on the MRT, HCR has funded 389 supportive units through our last unified funding round uh, of $91 million in awards. So we continue to be creative and committed uh, to making sure uh, that we can address the needs uh, of, of uh, New York's um, most neediest uh, uh, population. It's a great honor to work uh, in this area, and I think that you're hearing that from all of us, uh, because uh, developers focus on uh, brick and mortar. Uh, but you know that it's not just about brick and mortar, it's about changing lives and bringing new opportunities. And I think that the spirit that you come to us with, uh, we uh, get caught up in it also. And I think it's tremendous. So anytime we have an opportunity to break ground or to cut ribbons, it's really a special opportunity. And because of that, we want to do it more. So thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.